<coughs> right. A quick look at the control circuit on this. You've got uh, red and black 2.5mm, that's your main power in to run the compressor and the uh, fan motor. Um, then we've got a red and black 1.5mm, thinner ones, they run the crankcase here. And we've got two blue wires which is live in and live out for the control circuit. And they basically go, um, that's one there, that's live in I think, and that one goes down through that flex into the low pressure switch, back out on the brown wire, then it goes out on that flex and comes up to the high pressure switch and then goes back out on that blue to feed the contactor. So. Because that LP switch is off, we've got um, we can do this on one hand. There we go. We've got 240 volts there, and there's three terminals. There's a changeover contact, so because it's off, it'll actually be putting power onto that one at the back. 40 volts, and when it makes, it'll put it onto the top one uh, there, which is where the brown wire is, which is dead at the moment. Um, so you could, you could actually run the crankcase heater off that third connection, or run. Um, you could have a warning light on there, so you know if the LP's tripped, if if you didn't, you know if it wasn't unpumped down. Uh, so, let's put that on there, if I push that little thing over, I don't know if you caught that, but you can see that was putting voltage on there then. That's like a little solid state one. high pressure switch. I think on the high pressure switches they would normally um, when they're made they're across these two and when they trip I think the power goes to this one so you have to wire them up differently. Um, 